guys, what's up? My name is Bryce for those of you that are new to the channel. I've got a Mark 7 uh, R in the Piz Blue and we're about to unbox some car parts. So, mm. I'm excited, really excited because I've been having an oil consumption issue while on the track and sometimes drag racing. So, had to get me I don't even know if I can get this out with one hand. Ugh. Boom. Check that out. Then we got another little box. Boom. So uh, today we'll be installing this. We're removing the stock PVC system and uh, throwing this baby in. So I'm gonna open this up and then I'll get back to you. Okay, I removed or opened up was this. We had the re remote fill washer kit because we had to take half the washer system apart to fit the catch can. So this will be the new fill port for the uh, washer fluid. I believe this is the cap that goes on it. So this will sit down there. This will sit like relatively up here somewhere and you just run a line to fill your washer fluid. I don't really use my washers ever. It barely rains and I refuse to like let the bugs just go all over my window. So I typically don't really ever use my washer. So, but I didn't want it to be like an open system, so whatever. Anyway, here we are. Here's the catch can lines with the and fittings. This is the shorter one. This has and on the both sides, and then this will go um, to my stock inlet, which is also racing line. So that's real nice. It's pretty, super nice quality there. What else we got? Ooh, okay. This might be the line for the washer fluid. I'm not sure. We got little bits and pieces and oh, banjo fitting. That's it's not in the install. Oh, this must be an updated system. Yeah. Huh. We'll have to see how that works. We'll be installing this here next. Actually, we'll do that first to this plate. Oh, they even gave me a gasket. How nice of them. And then, for the big boy itself, sorry for the camera angles here, it's it's not very wide, but this is the catch can. And you can see there's the amp fittings, there's a drain plug for it. You even got a little dip stick here to check it. It's a super nice quality, wow. With the amount that I paid for it, it better be. All right, so I'm gonna grab my Allen wrenches, tighten down the stuff that I just put on the, uh, washer and I'll tighten this piece to this bracket and then we'll go out to the car and start pulling it apart. And it's pretty simple. You got the gasket here. It really only fits in one way. So you lay that in there. This will sit on top. This actually has a little piece here you can take out to I guess to assist in cleaning. I'll pop in. Lay that baby right down. You've got you got seven screws here. They take a two and a half millimeter Allen. Pop these things out. Let it still as possible. Drop two in for now. Thread it in. I guess it's less than a two. I thought it was a two and a half. Oh, I grabbed a three. Yeah, it is a two and a half. see all the different holes here, the vent, and then this, so it separates where things go. So you got that slant piece, whichever way it's set, but it'll separate things are going. I think this one, so it'll sit like this. This one right here will actually be right above the camshaft, we'll see later, so that'll vent oil back down to there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna torque these up and then, uh, Look around here a little bit, see what I do and do not need, put that away, and then we'll go out and start tearing shit apart. All right, out here in the garage, we got all the tools ready, got our torques, all this laid out. I figured out I don't actually need this. This is the plug, the washer. See, this will actually be removed. This is a two-piece system. So there's a, another part of the reservoir down there somewhere. 
then you undo this bolt and this pulls right out and this is where the catch can is actually going to sit. So if you didn't have this whole system here, boom and boom, you would use this just to plug it. So yeah, that's just a, a souvenir now. But uh, I'm not going to do like a full install video of this because Paul from ShopDap already did an extensive freaking, you can't do any better than that. So I'll go over little bits and pieces. I actually have an updated version of what he had. So on his, there was a, this piece actually was right here and it threaded one piece in, but this is a two piece system and they moved it. So I mean, washer, washer, it really only makes sense if you've ever done anything on a car before. And he didn't go over the washer stuff because he is on the GTI. So we'll have to play around and figure out where that's gonna mount up here or wherever, but should be fairly simple. But uh, for the starters, we're going to, see actually this, that big bracket replaces this whole thing. So but we'll remove this, that way we can get to this line back there and that routes all around here. We'll have to take out these two coil packs to get this out and uh, undo a few other bolts. Uh, this line will be have to be cut there. Like I said we'll have to pull this out and it's gonna make a mess. But uh, overall it should be fun, quick, relatively, and easy. And I should no longer smoke on the track. All right, we went ahead and took out this tube here and I plugged it so nothing can get down in there. I loosened up the bolts here so I can take these two cool packs out. And I took out the, a bolt here, down here on the side, so this uh, coolant rail. I don't know how well you can see it moving. This rail right here is able to move so I can get this line out. And I went ahead and loosened up this one, but I still gotta loosen up the rest. I wanted to make sure I was able to get to it because my tool isn't uh, deep enough. So I had to use a four millimeter on that and then use a wrench and break it loose. So there's that. Next up, we'll take out these uh, coil packs and then we'll take this off. Well, we'll take those out, we'll cut this it's a little clamp and then we'll loosen everything up. Um, I wanted to record this. I wasn't sure how much washer fluid was in it, but uh, it's only one bolt, like I said, so we're gonna pull it up and probably make a mess. Oh, sweet, it was empty. You can see this is one part of the system and this is where the catch can is gonna mount. The worst part about this whole install is getting this baby off here. There's no clip or anything. You really just gotta pull and pry and all that. But I don't know how much you've seen in the time lapse, but I got all this stuff. This is disconnected. This is about ready to come out once I undo, uh, pull this line off. But that's the pain in the ass. I'm sweating, sweating balls now because of it. Oh man, fun times. All right, finally got this son of a gun out. Holy crap. I think that's like the hardest part of this whole thing. But it, it locks right on top of this this guy. And the new fitting for it actually has the, uh, the pushy thing. So if I ever have to take it off again with these lines, it's gonna be not a 20 minute sweat fest and cursing and yelling, so. Wow, anyway. Next up is to pull this line off and then this whole assembly should pop right out. And then we'll be able to stick this uh, this new assembly down on top. And then we'll snug this down because I didn't tighten this yet. But that's where that line's gonna go. Holy moly. All right, so we got her out. That's the old PVC. This is the top portion of it. Let's go over here, Let's see where it used to be. You can see my cams and the rollers and all that shit. Let me see. It's pretty cool. This will be sitting on top. The only gripe I have about this kit is that it did, it came with a gasket for the one piece, but it didn't give you a new gasket here. So I'm reusing the old one. It seems just fine. I'm just scared it's gonna kinda fall out whenever I go to put this <coughs> back down in, but uh, let's do it. Should be pretty simple getting her in there. Let's see if the gasket falls. 
Not really, it's just this little piece here. So I cleaned up the surface quite a bit and we'll just slide this baby on in. Oh, that's a perfect fit. That is beautiful. Wow. That is way better than I thought in person or in video. Happens every time I work on the car, drop a bolt somewhere. Always have a magnet, no matter what. You can't see it in the video, but there's a little bolt back here behind this banjo. That's gonna be a pain. But everything else should be pretty simple. It looks like a, about a four millimeter. Let's see if I'm right. But no, I didn't try this out yet. But. Lit. Definitely don't tighten it down much at all. You wanna definitely go in a circle here. You wanna do it kind of like you're doing head bolts or, or something. You wanna go in a pattern of some sort. Make sure it's all flush. Dang, this piece down there is gonna be really a pain in the butt. That's not as bad as I thought. I definitely have some uh, ball headed Allens that we're gonna be using for this. So we'll go find one of those. Uh, snug these down. This will probably be what you want. You want a ball headed uh, Or it says four this All right, so I already see one issue here this line isn't gonna reach over I have to undo it from some bracket. Probably just did all that for nothing. But yeah, it still doesn't reach, huh? Even if I were to turn this, try to make it neat. It still doesn't move off this bracket down here. Yeah. Well, we'll have to figure that one out. Anyway. We're gonna go ahead and route these lines. It'll be from here, down under, and across, and from here over. And then we'll uh, then we'll assess this line. All right, and we got most of it together here. I'm about to put the coil packs back in here in a second. This is the hose. It's supposed to go from here to here, but it doesn't reach. So I'm about to go to the store and get another one. So beware with this revised version that as it here instead of here, you need a new hose. So I'm gonna wait on my roommate to get home. We're gonna go grab one, but in the meantime, I'm gonna actually put the catch can itself in. Um, I just threaded these in just to see how it would look, but I'm not gonna be able to tighten it with it tight. So we're gonna go ahead and undo this motor mount bolt. We'll actually put the catch can itself in, and then uh, we'll tighten up the two end fittings, and put the coil packs in. We'll get everything else sorted except for this line and save that for last. All right, we got most of the things back together. This line's going, routed. You go to the catch can, catch can. I got this ready. I am gonna need a longer hose for the, uh, the washer, but I have the reservoir mounted up. We're about to go get the hose for this right here, and then we'll go ahead and, and tighten everything down uh, completely and put the catch can in, and uh, we'll be done. Out here in the Miyata, we got my shit. We're cruising. And no. Look how pretty it is over there. Minus your fucking. Goddamn. Alright, we're gonna finish this shit up. I'm excited. Go on a test run after I clean my hands and finally get to eat. And then I got a surprise for you guys at the end. I'm excited as fuck. Alright, we're back. I got the hose cut and uh, all that. I had to take this back off so I could fit it on there. It's such a tight fit with this line but uh then we'll get that down in there and mount it back up and then we already got the uh I got that line in now and got that banjo bolt tight so next up is uh we'll get the pitch can in itself I'm super excited we're almost done took a lot longer than expected because I had to go you know, get hose and then uh, dealing with pulling off that one line was a pain in the ass, but overall it's not really hard. Like if you have any real mechanical experience, this is not gonna be 
something to be scared of at all. But uh, let's get to it because I'm down to go for a test drive. All right, you got the lines in, routed, routed. You still gotta torque these babies down. A few other small things like that. Anyway, can't do it one-handed, but I mean, that's pretty much the final product. Well, we still got a, a spacer to put here. Um, wipe everything down, get all the handprints off the nice shiny metal, but dog hair. Anyway, that's it. I'll check back in here once we're, uh, once we're all wrapped up. All right, that's her. All tightened up. You got the dipstick. You got your new fill port. These are tight. You got the little little braid here and all this. Sorry, I just kind of avoided all that. I'm not looking at my screen here. All tight. A whole new plate here. All these are tightened back up. Don't forget that. Tighten this. Tighten this. You got the new tight style clamp back there. Just keep some more racing line stuff. Uh, we'll see how the engine cover fits. It should be something like that. Yeah. No? Maybe I'm retarded? I never line this shit up properly. There we go. Yeah, it's okay. It's not bad. This side's not down the whole way. It makes one of these pop. But looks good with it. Looks good without it. I'll take it. Fuck yeah. That's really nice. That's really nice. I really like this. Really nice tight seal on it. Fill it. Stuff. All right. That's her. Next up will be uh, sway bars and end links. Um. Yeah, I need to wash up, clean up, and go on a test drive. All right, guys, we're here on a test drive. The oil temp just came up to operating. So, but so far, I mean, it doesn't seem like I have any vacuum leaks or anything, so that's good. See, I gotta, um, I got called out to race tomorrow. I think I might have talked about that earlier, but it's like an older challenger, I believe. But uh, the last call out I had, I, I blew smoke at the end there, so we'll be able to test out tomorrow to see how she, how she reacts. Everyone says it, she solved the issue. So at least I'm not alone, right? There, there is a solution out there. I'll be back Wednesday to. Watching me some that dude in blue. Just had dinner. It's late. I'm tired. Dirty. Still need a shower. What a day. That was exhausting. Not necessarily that, but coming home from work and hopping right to it and all that anyway. Oh yeah. So I posted in the local uh, car group today and asked if you had any like graphic design type people or whatever. And I want them getting me a um, what you call it logo watermark whatever you want to call it, but I got one made, and I'll put that in here, oh, thank you, and, uh, yeah, let me know what you think about it, I already showed, like, most people, I posted it a bunch of places, but, uh, so if you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, it's, the both of them are BR32YCE, follow me there, and, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one, we're gonna be pulling out his transmission on the RX-7 soon, pulling it apart from the motor, the motor's already out. Um, like I said, I got a race tomorrow, and God knows what other shenanigans we'll get into this week, so 
Like if you like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.